plant broccoli early in the year. Ideally, you'd get it in April. Sometimes it drags into the early part of May. And certainly you have a heat spell come along. And broccoli is not a crop that is very tolerant, if you will, in terms of having high quality when you get hot weather. And what we were seeing is several of the varieties, the head quality just dropped off. They wouldn't fully develop before they started to what we would call break apart. They develop unevenly. You would get what we call yellowing of the beads. So some of the little individual florets would start to turn yellow, which are all reasons to reject them in the market. Some of the varieties held up a little bit better. So if you're a grower that wanted to grow broccoli with the idea you're going into the spring, into the summer, you'd certainly want something that you know if we have one of those unexpected but always happen, it seems, warm spells that your broccoli is going to go ahead and hold up and that you're not going to go ahead and just shred that crop later on and have that as a loss. Certainly here in, in southeast Pennsylvania, we feed into the Chesapeake Bay, so nutrient management is a, a big concern. And one of the things that adds to pollution to the bay is where soil washes. So there's been a lot of research done, started out on the agronomic crop side using what we call no-till, where you don't plow the soil in the traditional way you plant into residue. And we started looking at that, that was looked at by some researchers in terms of a pumpkin crop, but we intentionally plant rye, grain rye, in the fall, and the idea then is to let it come up to the boot stage in the spring, and then you would go ahead and you roll that crop, you kill it, so you have that straw residue in there and you grow your pumpkin crop on there all summer. And, and the original idea was to keep the pumpkins off the ground for disease control, several of the diseases of the, of the fruit rots then get into the pumpkin where they're laying on the ground. So when the early researchers looked at that and said, yes, we've got reduced disease because the pumpkin's off the ground, but the idea of the pumpkin off the ground then just caught on because then you have a clean pumpkin and you don't have all that soil or mud on there. So that's been a, an advantage to our growers that they've transitioned to that system for, for clean pumpkins with reduced diseases in a wet year as well as just not all that mud. They just literally can brush the pumpkin off and put it in the box or bin and take it to market.